What is going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new how to video and in this how to video I'm going to be showing you guys how I removed the green screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now keep in mind though there's a couple things that I do before I start to record. The first thing that I want to show you guys is the lighting that I have. You gotta have good lighting when you want to remove some green screen. Basically you want to have at least a hair light, a direct light and maybe another light to hit the background so that it's bright up and there's not that much shadow in the background so the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you guys basically that I have a window right next to me and I cover up with a studio blanket because sometimes uh, the Sun is the best way the best source of light but when it comes to the green screen you gotta use artificial light because the Sun could be unpredictable it could go down from one point and then it could be really bright and that causes a lot of shadows now what I use is a direct LED light hitting my face and then I got a hair light that's hitting from above and that takes away a bit of the shadow as well in the background of the green screen and then I got another light on my left side that's hitting mainly the green screen so it removes as much of the shadow as possible and that's why I recommend that you guys use you can use like two to three lights people have really bright uh, rooms for me I don't have that much of a bright room so I have all these lights hitting me whenever I'm streaming or recording and whenever I'm using the green screen effect so now what I'm gonna be showing you guys is over here in Adobe Premiere Pro CC I'm gonna be showing you guys how I remove it so you're seeing this right now that the green screen is working really well so here we go uh, first thing that I want to show you guys is just in, just to let you know I using the noise to remove some of the noise you can see right here on the left side and on the right side there's a little bit of noise so I use denoiser and I use the Cosmo for my skin to smooth out a little bit of my skin and these are not free plugins these are from Red Giant so um, obviously you don't need this I just make it look a little bit better from time to time and when you're wearing a black shirt it shows a lot of the noise so what I have is I have a folder that I named green screen effects these are majority of the things that I add in the uh, green screen so the first thing that you want to add is chroma key and here we go so now if we add the chroma key now we press the eyedrop we get like one bright area like this for example I like to do the smoothing to high and then we like to actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image first so I can show you guys a good example so let's add this image right here and if we were to raise this up and then we were to add this image in the background so you guys can have a better understanding on how everything looks so I'm going to try to remove as much of it without removing the skin. And I like to sum it like every 5, so like 30, 35, so on and so on. So 25 seems about good, still removing a little bit from my glasses. And this is better for with the glasses as well, just because of reflection. Another thing that I want to show you guys is what I'm using is OBS Studios to record my face. And then what I do is I go to the settings and I'm, I'm using the Logitech C920 webcam. And so what I do is I go to the settings, I zoom into myself, and then I also on, uh, manually focus to myself so it doesn't auto automatic focus and then get defocused and then focus again. And then I go into the settings and I basically look at the camera and then I remove the auto exposure and the gain so that it gets my um so it gets when I'm looking at the lens with the glasses so there's not that much reflection then I bring down the exposure to down and then I bring the gain a little bit so it doesn't look like that my face that there's a lot of reflection coming from my face when your face looks really white so and I bring the color intensi uh, intensity a little bit higher so I could get a little bit more color but I'll show you guys a little bit more on that and so I remove a little bit of the gain and a little bit of the exposure so that my skin looks pretty good and um, there's not that much uh, white on my forehead or anything like that. So now let's go back to this. So 20, 20 looks good. You can see that there's still a little bit on the hair. And if we go to 25, you can see it removes a little bit from the glasses. So I'm going to go 23, 22 seems about good. I'm, I'm going to stick with 22. That seems about good. And I also try to use color key as well because color key um, removes some of it and it makes it a little bit thinner so I just do the same thing and 70 is way too much of course 50 seems about good I'm just looking at any other part of the body yeah that seems about good and so now let's add that chroma key and then if we remove the color key you see it makes it a little bit thinner and removes it from the lens and but it's removing it a little bit from here so we're gonna put 45 and that should be perfect because it helps with the lens especially when you're wearing glasses and I'm using tinted glasses and that helps a lot so now what I like to do I actually did not add it but I like to add a glow effect just make myself pop a little bit 
so i like to add that glow effect i like to put it to like around 10 and then depending on the image in the background i give it that color but for this one there's like multiple colors so i'm just gonna give it one solid color so i'm gonna give it red red look red seems about good red's like my favorite color and so it looks really good like that you can see that there's still a little bit so it's with the color key so if we bring it down to 40 that seems about good maybe 42 so it could still remove a little bit of the, the lens but then again it, you're gonna scale this or you don't have to if you don't want to but for me usually i scale it down and after that then what i do is i put the brightness and contrast and then I give myself a little bit more color I just give myself a little bit more contrast make the blacks look really black I don't do much with the brightness and then I go to three-way color corrector so then I add that I go to the effects I need to see this better I do the auto levels I don't really think that really does anything but just to make sure I just do that the master saturation I usually keep at uh, 111 the midtone I keep it to 120 and then the highlights, I keep it to 135. That seems about good. That was my phone. And then I like to give myself a little bit more of a tan look because with all these white lights, I look just like pale, really pale. And I like to give myself a little bit blue, but for this one, since it's mainly my skin, I'm gonna give myself, again, the nice tan look. And I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna give it to 107 and 115, like around that. And that seems pretty good. That looks actually perfect. So I'm going to be showing you guys very quickly. So if we remove the color corrector, you can see that my face just looks a little bit more pale. And then that's the tan. And then if we remove the contrast. You can see it looks a little bit like way too bright. Like the blacks look way too bright. Remove the afterglow, the color key, and the chroma key. And then that's how it is. So we have the chroma key, the color key, the glow, the contrast, and the three-way uh, color corrector and then what I also like to do is I like to give the background a little bit of a bokeh effect So with the bokeh that means like you're in focus and everything else in the background is blurred out So what I like to do is I like to give type in blur and then you get that gajon blur You go to the picture. And I like to give it like about 10 and Everything else seems pretty blurred out. That seems about too much. I'll give it seven give it a little bit more sharpness and then that is pretty much it so that looks perfect so now whenever i'm moving everything seems good it's just sometimes with the hair that's why usually i wear a hat whenever i'm recording with the green screen because it's not always that perfect and but I, either way for like a green screen and to remove all those effects in premiere pro that looks honestly perfect now keep in mind though when i'm streaming though i use obs studios so that it's stream um so that it removes the green screen uh, while I'm streaming so that's really good so if you guys want to see that I will also be posting a video on that but this is what this is what it looks like when I'm basically editing I removed the green screen effects so there you guys have it let me know down in the comments below if there's anything I should do to it if there's any other effects that you could recommend that I should add to it let me know down in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on Facebook Twitter YouTube Instagram and Twitch as always it's Tech HD I'll catch you guys in the next video peace